who carry a child for nine months. If you're not gonna, like it's sorry, race. my headphones got off. If you're not, if you're not gonna have, <laughs> if you're not gonna have children, if you're not gonna have children, what are you gonna do with your lives? God, if I'm not gonna have children, um, travel, just pursue anything that makes me happy. Um, try to make money. I love traveling, so I would probably just drink just... drink cocktails on a beach. Okay, next. <laughs> about the same thing like travel focus on my career things like that like my career will become my baby what about uh what about you um i honestly just want to get right into my career okay that's pretty much it right, what do you want to do in life um right now so i go to the university of miami i'm majoring in, in interactive media what i want to do with that is uh build virtual reality simulators for the military and then i'm also minoring in motion pictures i'm interested in acting and shit like that yeah, Miss Cuba, what about you? Do whatever the fuck I want. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We well, I plan on becoming a doctor. So I'm just, my career. Your career. I'm okay. passionate about it, so. A life without children is, is vapious. And it's inane and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career matters, but the truth is that your job will fire you out of whim and not give That's a second, right. don't give a solitary That's shit. So and when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren, in a house by yourself, and all your friends have grandchildren in this beautiful life, and you're sitting there by yourself, do you think the fact that you can afford a few extra Gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy? I was at my grandmother's 93rd birthday. I looked there. My grandmother had nine children because there was my father and, and eight more. They all had a bunch of kids, blah, blah, blah. I stood there, and I looked at my 93-year-old grandmother, and there was a room, a whole room full with maybe 70 people that came from that one woman. Isn't that remarkable yeah, that is. nobody cared about her career? Nobody asked what job she did. Nobody asked how many times she went to the club. Nobody asked if she had time to go to festivals. No, you had 70 sentient beings, including myself, full of life from one woman who dedicated herself to being a mother and, 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 a, good, and a good wife. That is beautiful. And if you sit here and genuinely think that you're going to work your ass off through your fertile years and by the age of 54, you're not going to be suicidal alone with a cat then you're dumb. <laughs> the that, happiest really women on this. earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers. That's the huge. happiest people on earth. I guarantee it. Your, your mothers, true. ask your own mother, do you nah. regret having me? Literally. She's going to say, of course not. not. You're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> so now you're going to sit here and you're going to end your own bloodline? All your ancestors were out there surrounded yeah. by saber-toothed <laughs> fucking tigers <laughs> trying to survive on the streets out there in caveman days just to get to the final end where we have all the medical care <laughs> and you can live in a nice warm house for your fucking selfish ass to say, no, I don't want kids. I'm too busy in the fucking strip club or going to fucking oh, Mallorca no. to, have a fucking, <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach. It's absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Everything everyone above you has ever done and struggled for. All the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it, just for you to exist, for your selfish ass to say no. Me and my passions and my dreams and my shit drawings and my Instagram page <laughs> is worth more than ever having children. You're a selfish fuck. Fuck that, you should all have kids. Genesis chapter two, verse 18. And the Lord Yahweh said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raqqa, Kodash, forgive me the spirit, to do this lesson. As you see in the video before, the mind state of the modern women, man, is horrible, man. It's death, okay? It's death to the purpose that they were created for, man. Okay? They were created for a purpose. You women were created for a purpose and you have went totally against that purpose man being a complete demon okay the things he said in that video was on point when you look at the women's faces man that demon is bubbling it's just bubbling in their spirit man you can see it in the eyes it's just bubbling man because they know it's true okay but they don't give a fuck i'm gonna just say it just like that they do not give a fuck Okay, on that level. Yeah, I said it. They don't care, man. Okay, and look at what it's doing to the world. All right, but let's read it again. Genesis 2 verse 18. And the Lord Yahweh said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. But the reality is the average man on the earth is alone. Okay, even if a woman's there, the average man is alone. Okay, because 
She's spending time trying to do what? Trying to get the man in her mind, okay? Her plans, her purpose in her own mind, not the purpose of why she was created in the first place. Okay, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 8. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Right, man, okay? One man of the man, all right? And women do not respect that at all. Okay, we are not of you, you are of us. Understand what that means. Verse 9, neither was the man created for the woman. We were not created for you, but the woman for the man. Right, man. Okay, so that we are not alone, so that you could help us with our vision, with our purpose. Okay, on this earth. All right, that is the reality. And when you read this, women will frown and be all mad and a demon a bubble. You know why? Because you women are demons. The average woman is a demon. That's a fact. Okay? That is a fact. All right? The average woman on the earth is a complete demon. She has went fully against her purpose. Okay? Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, and her hands as bands. More bitter than death, the woman. Okay? More bitter than death. Now, why is it more bitter than death? Why is a woman more bitter than death, the average woman? Because death is better than following the bullshit that she wants. Okay? Look at the earth. All right? Going back to Eve, man. Look at what's happened. Okay? So, it's better to be dead all right, then following death with this woman, man. Okay, starting back all the way to Adam. Okay, to now. All right, and I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart, her mind, is snares and nets, and her hands as bands. Okay, it's snares and nets. Now, why is it snares and nets? Because she's trying to trap the man into what she want him to do, so that she don't have to follow him and his purpose and help him. She flipped it. She made it about her. Okay? And she plays these games to get the man on her tune. Away from God. Away from Yahweh Bashim Awashah's purpose for man on the earth. And her purpose on the earth. Okay? Now it's about following her and helping her in her mind and not helping us with our vision. Okay? It says, whose heart, her mind, is snares and nets, and her hands as bands. Whoso pleases Yahweh Bashim Awashah shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Right, man, because she's more bitter than death. Okay, more bitter than death. Okay, now, one thing that God said, uh, Tate, that's his name, one thing he said that is vapious, man. Okay, it is vapious that all the history shows what our purpose is, man, back in history. And everybody, our ancestors, the different generations fought and struggled all to this point for these women to do what they're doing today that is utterly ridiculous man now let's go into the google definition of vapid which is short for vapious it says lacking flavor zest interest animation or spirit lacking spirit a gossipy vapid woman obsessed by her own elegance right man now it's about what they want to do their careers their instagram their social media their likes how they look that's why the scripture says be modest because anything outside of modest for our women leads to this complete darkness man witchcraft okay straight rebellion that's what it leads to now let's go into elegance in the google definition it says the quality of being graceful and stylish in the appearance of manner or style you hear that Okay, so the woman, the modern woman, is about that, especially the Israelite woman, but women in general, okay? This is for all women, but we're dealing here with the Israelite woman, okay? She's like this, the average. It's about herself, man, how she looks, her appearance. So she can use that to do what? As the bands and nets to trap the guy because the average man is visual. So she uses that to trap a man in her web and now he's not going through his purpose 
okay, and her following him, he's sitting there like a puppy in her purpose in her own mind, man. Her evil, her evil made up purpose in her mind, man, that goes against the natural purpose of why the woman was created in the first place, to be a helpmeet for the man, okay, period. All right, can't make this up, man. These women are ridiculous, man. But they don't realize that, you women don't realize that judgment is raining down and that it is a huge consequence coming for all women on the earth, man, that have this mindset. All right? Let's go to Sirach chapter 36, verse 24. He that getteth a wife, but getteth a possession, a help like unto himself. Right, man, like unto himself, meaning she's helping with his vision, his mind, his purpose, what he wants. Okay, and she assists with that. All right, in a pillar of rest. Women don't want to do that, man, because women are about themselves completely. Okay, the modern woman is about themselves. Okay, not family structure, none of that, man. And look at the world. Look at the world, man. And you tell me what has happened. All right, the average woman has done this on the earth. Look at the world. All because she don't want to listen. All because she don't want to play the role that she was meant to be played. Okay? She was meant to play a certain role. She don't want to do it. Now look at the world, man. Everything's all out of order, man. Okay? Because she wants to go with the serpent. She wants to go with Satan. That's completely against Yahweh Bashim Shai. And when Yahweh Shai come, even before you come, man, you women are going to suffer. Okay, you're going to suffer horribly, man. All right, and you're going to have a horrible death because this is a damn shame and you women have no shame. You think you ain't doing nothing wrong. We're going to see. We're going to see real soon. All right, let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 26, verse 1. Blessed is a man that have a virtuous wife for the number of his days shall be doubled. Right, man. Okay, and a virtuous woman understands the purpose of a woman and why she was created. Okay, and she does what she needs to do. She helps her husband. She understands that purpose. And because of that, it says, for the number of his days shall be doubled because she's helping him. She's fattening his bones. Okay, it's an order. And that order is beautiful. Okay, and there's huge benefits from that order of your how about have a shy. You can't make that up. Verse 2, a virtuous woman rejoice her husband, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. Right, man. A virtuous woman rejoice her husband, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. Not in this world. Okay, the average situation, not in this world. It's about themselves. It's about themselves. All right. Let's go to Sirach chapter 26. Verse 13, the grace of a wife delighted her husband and her discretion will fat his bones. Like I just said earlier, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. Right, man. A mind well instructed on the man's purpose. We were not created for you. You was created for us. Okay. And you have turned completely against that order. And that's not our order. That's your how about Shema Shai's order, man. So what you think they're going to do? They're going to let you just go on the earth and continue this way? Hell no, man. Could you imagine if this earth continued the way it is? This age continued? 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 50 years. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, so the harvest is ripe. The evil is ripe for judgment. OK, and that's what we're seeing on the earth. But you women are the number one. You women, you women, you women, man. OK, it is going to be horrible. You're going to have a horrible, painful end. OK, unless you listen to a man of the Lord as an Israelite woman and get in order. That's it. There's nowhere around it, man. OK, verse 15. A shame faced and faithful woman is a double grace and her contented mind cannot be valued. As the sun when it arises in the high heaven, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. Right, man. In the ordering of 
her house. Okay? But these women don't want to be in the house. These women want careers and be a boss bitch and independent and this and that and do what they want to do and open their legs to every guy and they think they value don't go down. These women are like badass kids, man. Okay, so I'm going to stop there, man. I'm getting all, boy. But, hey, y'all see it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Y'all see it, man. The mind of the modern woman. Complete demons. With that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahabshai, Bashem, Raka Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, Akam out there that's doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.